Hello, I'm Mick. And I'm Leela. And we're Meats and Cheats, and this is our top tips when staying at the Lalala Blue Suites in Marmaris. Balcony tip. If you want a bigger balcony, then request a room by the pool. If you want a bigger room, request a room on the front of the hotel. Another little tip within this tip, the balcony ones that face the pool are quieter. Next tip is there is a great selection of food available in the all-inclusive buffet restaurant throughout the day, but there is no food available from 9.30 onwards, so we suggest getting full up. Lounges are a hot commodity, so you've got to be prepared like I was and get very, very tired by getting up at 6 and getting a towel on there, even though they say you can't. But if you do happen to miss out on a lounger, there are always a load here available and umbrellas, and the pool boys are happy to help you out with bringing one to the edge of the pool. If you are really struggling for some beds though, they do have these cabanas. So I think there's four of them in total and they run down the back of all the sun beds and the pool. Apparently, if the rope is not across them, they're completely free to use. There is a fresh omelette bar that does require a little bit of wait time, which is not that long at all. And you only have to drop in a tip if you want to. And they've got all the toppings and ingredients and it's well worth checking out. Despite the information that the hotel gives you, water is available throughout, but if you want bottled water, we recommend going to the supermarket across the street where you can get six bottles of this for 60 Turkish Lira, which is next to nothing. Every day between the hours of three and five, there's something they call cookie hour. I know two hours, it's called cookie hour, but we're not talking about it because it's free cake. So basically in the Alice in Wonderland cafe, you get a selection of free biscuits, free cakes, every day between three and five. If you want to venture out of the hotel, you can. So there's a nearby Old Town and the centre of Armouris. Hotel walk reception will just call you a taxi. It's 200 lira. You're thinking, whoa, 200 lira? That's about six pounds each way. Bargain. There are a lot of things here that actually aren't on the menu. They have four cocktails in the all-inclusive concept, as they call it. However, you can ask for whatever cocktail you want. Burke, shout out to Burke, is a great bartender. There's something called the purple one. He'll do you a pina colada. He'll do you whatever you want. Also, he does an amazing Bailey's iced coffee, which also isn't on the menu. You just need to ask for it. If you're looking for some morning sunshine, we recommend this side of the pool, which I will illustrate on a map view. If you're looking for some morning shade for afternoon sun, we recommend this side of the pool. But if you're looking for that last of the day sunshine, where it's really, really hot and beating down on you, we recommend that pool right over there, which I will also pop on the map for you. probably get that any all inclusive. Some of the things we thought were really good, the circus show was great, um, the quiz, the music night, that was really fun. We did watch karaoke from our balcony, which was really good as well. Um, and with the traditional Turkish night, you actually get traditional Turkish barbecue as well. So the barbecue outside, you get loads of meat and kebabs and everything. They also run a daily activity in the pool, which Mick got involved in. You do get free Wi-Fi in your room if you book with TUI, but you get one login per person, so you can't share logins. There is free Wi-Fi available throughout the hotel's public areas, but you can buy Wi-Fi in your room for an additional cost, which means you can be browsing and looking at things like meats and cheats on Instagram. If you're getting a bit fed up with the hotel breakfast and you're craving some real sausage and real bacon, you can head to either restaurant, either side of the entrance of the hotel, where you can pick up a breakfast for between two and four pounds and you can't argue with that. Thank you for watching this video with our tips on what to do when staying at the Lalala Blue Suites Hotel. If you liked it, make sure you give us a subscribe and if you've got any further questions about the hotel, hit us up in the comments below and we will do our best to provide any information we can. We're Meats and Cheats, where every day is a cheat day. <laughs>